recognize the member for Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, my question uh, to the minister is, uh, is relatively straightforward. University of British Columbia students are facing a 20% increase in their residence room fees. They're facing an increase of hundreds of dollars in their meal fees for the meal plan, which they're obligated to buy. The student loans in British Columbia do not cover the full amount of tuition, books, meal plan fees, and so on. Is he looking, uh, if he's not willing to uh, address this issue of the, the runaway rents and meal plan costs, is he at least looking at making sure that BC students can borrow enough money to be able to go to school? Thank you, member. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And the member asked an interesting question because, as we all know, we have uh, 430,000 students in the province, and 180,000 of them are eligible for student aid from the province. And of the 180,000 eligible students, about 25% actually turn to the province for zero interest loans during the time of their studies. And the uh, profile is that students, uh, increasingly it seems, are finding uh, their own means to uh, pursue their education and are avoiding uh, these zero percent loans from the province. And so we commend them for their resourcefulness. Uh, as we all know, not all students have the same resources to work from, and that's why we have a student loan program and a number of grant programs that are designed to make uh, higher education accessible for all students. As the member knows, there are about 50,000 students at UBC, and it's a thriving organization, and we're fully aware of the increases in the cost of residence housing and food at UBC, and uh, we defer to UBC, which is a self-governing institution, on how it manages its internal affairs. Thank you, Minister. Member. Mr. Chair, uh, just a short follow-up. The Minister uh, may or may not uh, uh, be aware that uh, BC uh, students have the highest student debt, despite the low number that take advantage of government student loans. And one of the reasons for that is it's quite difficult for students to qualify for government student loans. Many of them put loans on private lines of credit uh, that are uh, underwritten by their parents or by a family friend. Uh, I spoke to students who are putting uh, educational expenses on credit cards. Um, and the reason for this is the, uh, the, the insufficient uh, amounts of money available through the student loan program and the incredibly difficult time they have qualifying for student loans with the cost of uh, ancillary expenses, we're talking about residence, uh, books, uh, and, uh, and uh, meal plans, and so on, uh, surely the government must be looking at expanding. If they're not going to do needs-based grants, if they're not going to do graduate student scholarships, at the very least, lending students enough money, because the government actually makes money on student loans. They lend the money at, uh, they borrow the money at 4%, they, they lend it at 6%. So surely you'll at least lend students uh, enough money, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, to, uh, to go to school uh, in British Columbia or, or wherever they manage to, uh, to access education. But certainly in, for UBC in my constituency, the student loans are insufficient. And the fact that so few students are accessing them, yet debt is so high, is evidence of problems in the system, not, uh, as the minister might suggest, a success. Minister. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And of course, uh, by now, after the exchanges in the House, I think most of us are aware that the Post-graduation survey indicates that uh, the median student uh, debt occurred by students from all sources after baccalaureate degree is $20,000. And so what this province does is provide uh, a 0% student loan program, not 6% as the member suggests opposite, but it's at 0% until they've finished their studies. And that is currently running a book of business of $2 billion that we've advanced to students. We spend about $80 million a year maintaining that portfolio at 0% during the term of the student studies. And so uh, we're obviously quite um, impressed with the degree of enrollment because of the 430,000 students we find in the system. And we actually have slight excess capacity in the system. And so we're uh, content that these students are finding their way into the system at the appropriate level of enrollment. And in terms of personal lines of credit and otherwise, of course, we respect the privacy of students and have no information on that. And I suggest that if there are any anecdotes, that's exactly what they are, as anecdotes. 